A major demand for new homes has developers trying to turn golf courses into subdivisions. That could affect up to 20 golf courses in Palm Beach County alone. And as Contact 5 investigator Dave Bowman found out, homeowners with fairway views are fighting back. This is paradise. You know, it, it's perfect. Rochelle Baker Hughes' home overlooks the 15th fairway at the Lone Pine Golf Course. 18 years ago, we walked in and we said, this is home. She and her husband looked at about seven houses. We loved it, so we want it. We'll pay a higher price. A higher price for the view of the golf course in Riviera Beach, a view that may soon disappear for her and dozens of other homeowners along Lone Pine Golf Course. I'm losing what we bought. DR Horton Homes, the nation's largest builder, plans to convert the 60-acre Lone Pine course into a subdivision of more than 250 houses. Now I'm probably going to see the backs of probably four or five homes. Lone Pine is not the only golf course potentially facing conversion. Contact 5 obtained records from the Palm Beach County Zoning Division showing 20 golf course conversion plans in various stages of development. Not all have been approved. Real estate experts see the trend of converting fairways and greens to more than 1,500 houses and apartments to continue. We're just out of land. Realtor Jeff Lichtenstein says some golf courses see fewer players as a real estate boom sends property values soaring more than 30 percent in the past year. So the golf course is what a public golf course can make now hasn't went up 30 to 40 percent, but the land value has. And there may not be much homeowners can do. Land use attorney Howard Nelson says homeowners face an uphill fight, even with verbal or written promises that golf course land stays recreational. I don't think that's ever been interpreted to mean we're going to force somebody to operate a golf course there. During our investigation, D.R. Horton scaled back its plan from building 282 homes to 269. That's not good enough for the lawyer representing nearby homeowners. But not in our uh, recreational space and not on our golf courses. Attorney Brennan Grogan hopes to avoid court by convincing Riviera Beach city leaders not to rezone the land. That's a taking. That's, pro that's property that really belongs to everybody in the city that's going to be now converted to a residential community, and you won't ever get that back. Some regular golfers at Lone Pine want the golf course to stay. It's one of a dwindling number of public courses where a round of golf can cost just 25 bucks. Um, it's close by my house and it's, it's cheap, honestly. It's a great time, though. The owner of Lone Pine did not return our calls. A spokesperson for D.R. Horton Homes asked us to send a list of questions. We did, but the company did not return our emails. I'm not going to give up the fight. Rochelle Baker leads the Homeowners Association bid to stop Lone Pine from becoming a subdivision. She says she's fighting for neighbors worried about increased traffic and for the wildlife, like the Egyptian geese, that make the course home. I see paradise. A fleeting view of paradise on the 15th fairway. And I would hate to see paradise lost. In Riviera Beach, Dave Bowman, WPTV News Channel 5.